Hey everyone, it's Velvet. Welcome back to more Persona 3 FES. In the last one, we maxed out the star social link and finished our exams. A bit of an unfortunate time for exams, considering the world is ending, but alas, for everyone else, it was Tuesday. And for now, I think we're going to be maxing out Yukadi's social link and maybe Maiko's. We shall see. But of course, as always, we must start by improving our personas st uh, stats at the arcade. What is Odin's magic stat at at this point? I wonder. Hey, it's our box from from Tanaka with all of our mind supplements. Oh, Yukari, hello. Yes, who is it? It's me. Oh. You don't stop by very often, senpai. Is something wrong? No. I just wanted to talk. Aw, are you feeling won't we? Hey, are you teasing me? No! Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this Nyx is like. Hey, do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, isn't it, Senpai? To talk about our decision? I... I guess it is. <laughs> You're so easy to read. I've made my decision as well. Kirijo is making great strides to turn itself around. After I graduate, I plan to assume leadership of the group and continue where my father left off. I cannot turn back now, even if I wanted to. But what if you die? If I die defeating Nyx, then the Kirijo group will have to continue on without me. But I am confident they would fulfill my wishes. Ryoji said Nyx can't be defeated. But I kind of wonder about that. I don't think our special member can be killed either. I agree. Death dwelled within him, amplifying his abilities. Though he was exceptional to begin with. He's an interesting guy, huh? Yes, he is. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether or not we die. All that matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Does your decision have anything to do with your father? Hmm, a little. But it's more about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, when we were in Kyoto, you asked me to stand by your side. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. We will fight together, Yukari. Together. Look at them go. Figuring things out. Oh, I should have seen if I could order anything from Tanaka. But yeah. It's like everybody, well, those two at first, but I'm sure everybody will be making their decisions in the coming day. But hilariously, it is entirely my choice. So if I decide, nah, I don't care about this, then, like, they can't do anything. <laughs> Which is uh, unfortunate. Ooh, Apocalypse with more mind supplements sure thing let's let's get the apocalypse while awaiting the apocalypse that sounds great 
So yeah, we, we will be maxing out uh, Yukari, but once more we do have to go to the shrine to pull a, a, a relationship slip with her. Hi, Junpei. Damn it. Why don't those Strega dumbasses make a move? They better hurry up so I can crush them. I agree. I won't forgive them for what happened to Shinji and Shirori. Oh! <laughs> he agrees with us too. Akiko? It's been a while since Ryoji disappeared. I wonder what he's doing. Maybe he's cursing fate. Why does he even care about life on Earth? I don't really want to think about it. No matter what we do, we can't stop it from happening. It's just not fair. <laughs> I wish I could just forget about it too. But the day will come. We have to decide our answer by then. Yep. Ten days away, right? New Year's Eve? We'll figure it out. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 44, Demon Robot Tanika. Danger, Featherman R. And now the news. The apathy syndrome still has no, still has no cure, yep. Hey Ken. So much is going on, I almost forgot about Christmas. It's like I was sleepwalking. And I opened my eyes and was like, oh yeah, Christmas. Christmas sure is up and coming. Hey Fuka, I almost missed you. Here's the Christmas tree. Akirikan, what do you think the true meaning of Christmas is? Uh, <laughs> consumerism. Let's go. Um, well, I guess from a business perspective, that's true. The Christmas spirit should put a smile on everyone's face. So let's be happy. Joy to the world? Yes, I agree. The Christmas spirit should put a smile on everyone's face, so let's be happy, and then finally, peace on Earth. That's what I think, too. <laughs> Consumerism! Alright, what's what's my luck gonna be? Very worst luck again? <laughs> Come on, dude. Like in the end, it's a fine. But come on, dude. Oh hey! Hi! Hi Mitsuru. I have no choice but to go on. The answer was in front of me the entire time. If I do not come back, then someone else will have to take over the company. Although, I have every intention of returning. It's not like me to just give up. I've made up my mind. I'm going to fight to the end. Good for you two. I'm proud of you. But now, you know the drill. It, it's been an entire playthrough of this. It's it's kind of redundant to like say it every time, but yes, we are we are going to the arcade. Oh, and I wanted to check the stats of of Odin. What are we what are we at here? Very high magic stat. Our endurance is kind of bad, but our magic stat is going through the roof, and will continue to do so. I would love to max that out. I think that would be amazing. And of course, we are not not as if we're studying anybody, but we're forced to go to sleep because we got a bad lucky fortune. Because of course. Why wouldn't we? Exam results will be posted today. Ooh. So will we will we be 
Will we be able to go talk to Mitsuru and get a reward this time? Because we're obviously in first place. Hey, the results are posted! You decide to go look at the exam results. You scored the highest in your class. Everyone is looking at you with respect. Your charm has increased. You suddenly remember something. Mitsuru promised to give you a gift if you scored the highest. Lunchtime is almost over. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go and get that. Wonder what it is. Wonder if it's good. We're hanging out with Yukari today, but let's go talk to Mitsuru and see what we got. Hi, Mr. Edogawa. Oh no. Right, let's begin. Tohokami Emitama. Today, we'll talk about magic right here in Japan. Though I'm sure you think you're familiar with it already, you probably aren't. The view that magic is a dubious subculture is becoming more common. But what is swept into the corners of society today was once central to Japan. It could even be said that Japan or that Japan was invented in magic. Reverse those two nouns. After all, Himiko of Yama Taikoku, Taikoku was a shaman. She reportedly used magic called Kido to control the country. Sadly, we have no way of knowing what kind of sorcery that was. The same is true for Prince Shotoku, who established the centralized government. He practiced on Myodo, so in a sense, he was also a shaman. With origins like this, magic was naturally woven into the very fabric of Japan. In the Heian period, for example, the Bureau of Onmyo was established for Onmyoji to expel evil spirits and give spiritual advice. You may be familiar with that from the legend of Abe no Seime. Even in the age of the samurai, magicians played their part. Many generals who studied divination and military tactics could be considered magicians. Are you all listening? Don't become mesmerized now. <laughs> I'll test you to see how closely you've been paying attention. Get it wrong and you'll hear more taboo phrases. Tohokami emitama! Who to call on? Ah, Akira, I ask thee. Hi. What sorcery was Himiko said to have used? That would be Kido. Very good. Thank you, thank your Kododama for that one. The trend of tying magic to the people continued to the Edo period, but the new government formed during the Meiji Reformation stamped it out. Tsuchi Mikado Shinto, which had been revived during the Edo period, faded away. You gave the correct answer. A. What a wild guy. Class has ended for today. Hey, Junpei. This is bullshit, man. Who cares about test results when the world is coming to an end? Either way, it's depressing news. Unfortunately, we are the only ones who know. So, for everybody else that isn't afflicted by apathy syndrome, life just goes on as usual. And yeah, we'll, we'll be returning to the classroom to hang out with Yukari. But first... Uh, this way. No, nope, she is she is not here. Maybe she'll give us a thing when we talk to her tomorrow or something. Well, I tried. Hey Yukari. Uh no, that's the student council room. No, 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 no. We are not attending student council. We are we are done with student council. <laughs> We, we've completed our goal. We no longer need to show up to the meetings. Hi, Yukari. I was hoping you'd say that. Th then, want to come to my room? You decide to go to Yukari's room. Dorm, Yukari's room. For some reason, 
I'm feeling so nervous. Even though it's you, Akira-kun. Everyone's in their room, too. I hope no one finds out I snuck you in here. If I accidentally scream, everybody will hear me. <laughs> what am I saying? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? I didn't hear anything. Y you got that right! Am I always this crazy? Yukari is laughing and blushing at the same time. You talk with Yukari for a long time. Oh yeah, I wanted to give you something. This is for you. Yukari has given you a special gift. Obtained Yukari's strap. You know what that is, right? It's the strap from my cell phone. I got it at the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It's been my special keepsake for many years. Ever since my dad bought it for me. I used to talk to the toy figurine attached to it when I was here in my room. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts, huh? Uh, but as I got to know you, Akitakun, I talked to my little friend less and less. That's not the reason I gave it to you, though. I'm only going to say this once, okay? Akitakun, I love you. Phew! I said it! Yukari has professed her love for you, and it seems she wants your love in return. And for now, we just stare off into space while, uh, <laughs> while this happens. A mysterious voice rings in your head. Thou art I, and I am thou. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the lover's arcana hath been set free. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Cybele, the ultimate form of the Lover's Arcana. The Yukari Takaba Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Yukari Takaba Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Lover's Arcana has reached its maximum. You have forged a bond that cannot be broken. The Earth Mother Cybele. When all of this is over, we should do something fun, don't you think? Hey, don't make any plans for tonight, okay? I want to spend some time together. Just the two of us. I'm blushing, aren't I? You shared a special evening with Yukari. Hi! Today is December 21st. There are less than 10 days until New Year's Eve, but for some reason, I'm not scared at all. Well, maybe I'm scared a little, but I'm still gonna fight. Win or lose, I'm gonna give it my all. Good for you. Every day, uh, every channel is showing news related to apathy syndrome. I have no choice but to go on. The answer was in front of me the entire time. Oh, you've already said this. Whoopsies. Hi, Fuka. My exam grades were what I expected, so I feel relieved. Now, what should I do for Christmas? It's a good question. What do we do for Christmas? Almost forgot it's Christmas. Christmas is almost here! You excited for it? Sure am. Cool. Let's enjoy Christmas. No, not really. What are you talking about? This might be our last Christmas. You gotta enjoy it while it lasts, dude. <laughs> I don't care how I did on the exams. I have such a hard decision to make. My teachers used to tell me not to worry about test scores. This is what they must have meant. Maybe, but I feel like this isn't exactly what they had in mind. Also, uh, Koromaru, we, we can go on a walk together with, uh, with Mitsuru as well. Hi, Mitsuru. 
Let's not forget to walk the dog this time. Kuramaru looks happy when he comes here. I think I'll make this a regular stop on my own walks. It may not be appropriate to mention this, but... It's almost Christmas. And well, do you... It's nothing. Forget I said anything. You spoke quietly with Mitsuru. Were you about to ask if I had any plans, or if I had made up my mind for the thing? What's up? Welcome back. You seem to have, have enjoyed yourself out there. Let's head back. What will you do? I will sleep, of course. Oh my god, not you again! <laughs> it's chilly today. I've got all the alarm, haven't I? Miss Onushi left early, so I'll be teaching today in her place. I think today we'll learn about near-death experiences. There's no real reason for it, they've just been on my mind. Now, a near-death experience is defined as something an individual experiences just before death, as the name implies. Is it true insight into the afterlife, or simply a trick of the brain? Opinions vary, but it is true that near-death experiences have been a hotly debated topic for some time. There are a few surviving records of ancient near-death experiences. According to the writings of Plato, a, resusc a resuscitated soldier experienced the afterlife as, experience as a spirit. A similar incident was reported in Japan by ethnologist Kunio Yanagita in the Tono Monogatari. Uh, where in the timeline of Morogatari does that take place? When, when should I read that one? Um, <laughs> Psychologist Carl Jung wrote that in his own near-death experience, he saw a vision of Earth from afar. I'm sure you've heard your own stories from famous or infamous individuals. I have a few first-hand reports with me today. Let me read you some of them. I felt as if my soul was detached from my body. I met a friend who had already passed away. I saw my whole life flashing before my eyes. I saw the most brilliant light. I was bathed in light. I experienced complete and total happiness. This is called euphoria. These kinds of reports are typical. Some have attempted to make direct recordings of near-death experiences. Researcher Kenneth Ring has tried to quantify near-death experiences with a weighted core experience index. Modern efforts have led to new theory of uh, near-death experiences, which goes like so. If an individual who is dying denies that fact, he eventually d realizes that death is a reality, and he must accept, and he becomes angry. As a result, he'll try to do anything he can to extend his life. But the futility of lists leads to depression. In the end, he accepts his fate. Although we may initially deny death, we'll accept it in the end. That's just how we humans are. Is everyone listening? It's not every day you'll hear a lesson like this. <laughs> How about a little test to prove you were listening? Get it wrong, and memories of your life at school will disappear. Who should I pick? Alright, Akira, I ask thee. Hi, what's up? What is the feeling of happiness in a near-death experience called? That was euphoria. I don't think it was Yugoslavia. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Good work. That is correct. You'll have a happy school life. Some people say a near-death experience awakens one's higher consciousness. Whether or not that's true, there is an observably lower fear of death in those who have been through one. Perhaps this is because near-death experiences are surprisingly free of pain and suffering. But this is not to say I'd want any of, any of you to seek one out, okay? Use the time you have here wisely. That's all for today. Class is dismissed. And we gave the correct answer. All right. All 
Oh, hello. Is this a social link showdown? Is this just gonna be Mitsuru coming up and being like, hey, let's hang out? Yep. Been a while since we've seen one of these. I was about to say, like, hey, you gonna say something, or are you just, we're just gonna stare each other down in the hallway until the end of time? Hello, Suzuki. You seem to be doing well. Do you have any plans after school today? I'd like to talk to you. Yeah, I'm free. I see. Well, would you mind keeping me company? I don't have anything to do today. Let me know what you decide. Sure thing. That was a, a very long time for it to just hang on that screen, though, huh? Interesting. <laughs> but yeah, let's go hang out with Mitsuru. And maybe she'll give us a thing, because we score it on exams, or maybe we have to catch her on a day where she's down there but not available? I don't know. We shall find out, momentarily. Hi. Suzuki, I saw your exam results. Good work. That's quite an accomplishment, considering all you had to juggle. Here's a reward for your hard work. King card set. Thank you very much. Um... Yeah, let's, let's, let's hang out. Port Island Station Movie Theater. It's so easy. You simply purchase a ticket at the window and you can watch a movie. It may sound strange, but I have been eager, eager to experience a film in an actual theater. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel like my view was compromised in the least. I found it interesting that so much thought is put in the design and construction of a movie theater. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Mitsuru. Thanks to you, Suzuki. I've always felt too uncomfortable to come here alone. Mitsuru has expressed her appreciation for you. I don't think I would normally have this type of conversation, but it seems to me that Yukari is the type of girl who wouldn't feel inhibited watching a movie by herself. She's also more suited to ride a motorcycle. What about the motorcycle? Yes, I believe you've seen it before. I used to use it when I provided support for the team. However, I didn't purchase it solely for that purpose. With a motorcycle, I can go where I want, when I want, all by myself. It's my modest attempt at rebelling against my restricted life. I had planned to get rid of it after it was damaged, but I decided to have it repaired instead. It may be a bit of an exaggeration to say I cherish it, but I do enjoy riding it when I have the time. Mitsuru seems happy. Hey, let's- why don't we go for a ride, then? Together? Just the two of us? Can you ride a motorcycle? Or do you plan to sit on the back? <laughs> Either way, it would be a lot of fun. Mitsuru seems very happy. Thank you. I feel much better. Mitsuru has expressed her gratitude to you. Your relationship has become closer. Yeah, let's go! Motorcycle! Let's go! A mysterious voice rings in your head. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Empress Arcana. I've never been on a motorcycle myself, actually. They, say, they seem intimidating to me. The Mitsuru Kirijo Social Link has reached level 5. Your power to create personas of the Empress Arcana has grown. Mitsuru wants to get, you, get to know you better. Your relationship is becoming more intimate. If you don't have any objections, I'd like to stay with you for a little while longer. You decide to return to the dorm with Mitsuru. I can't wait for her to be the one to welcome me back. Because that seems to be just the running gag. Damn it. Where have you been? I've been out. What's it to you? Concludes today's news of the Apathy Syndrome Academic. Academic? Ap- Epidemic. 
In lighter news, we join our foreign correspondent live from Rockefeller Center in New York City. She'll give us a look at the Christmas mood in the Big Apple, where everyone knows. How how is how is New York? Is it affected by the apathy syndrome, or is that just a Tatsumi Poor Island thing? How can I help you? Let's just talk. Here's the Christmas tree. We've already talked about that. Uh, hi Mitsuru. I have no choice but to go on. It's not like me to just give up. Are you asking about? Oh, you're asking about uh, if somebody, if I have somebody special to spend with Christmas. Most teenage boys your age tend to spend Christmas with their girlfriends. What about you, Akira-san? Do you have anyone special to spend Christmas with? I do, but perhaps too many special someones. Wow, you sound like an adult. No, I don't. Well, I'm sure you'll find that special someone soon. Hi. Christmas is almost here. You excited for it? We've already had this conversation. And you? We have a day off tomorrow because it's the Emperor's birthday. I don't have any plans, do you? Uh, yep. Let me guess. You're going to get ready for Christmas, right? Well, good luck on, good luck on choosing a present your girlfriend will like. Uh-huh. Nope. So you're going to make this Christmas a meaningful one, eh? That's good thinking. Maybe our last one. Interesting. Uh, either way, you know what? Let's end things off here. We're not going to make it to Christmas this time, but definitely in the next one. So, thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing and leaving a like and all that. And until next time, have a fantastic day, alright? See you then.